Welcome, Lincoln Military Housing families, to our Arts for Learning Night. In October 2009, Lincoln Military Housing and Arts for Learning San Diego began a collaboration called the Military Arts Connection. Throughout the year, programs are offered that include dinner, a 30-minute performance, and a 50-minute hands-on activity presented by professional artists from Arts for Learning. Arts for Learning has been dedicated to advocating and providing arts education through a wide range of programs in music, dance, theater, storytelling, and visual arts. Due to the current pandemic, Lincoln Military Housing and Arts for Learning are partnering to bring art right into your home to enjoy as a family. Please enjoy today's visual art project, Spring Flowers, by Stacy Green. Today's art is a hands-on demonstration, so please take a moment to gather some craft supplies and join us when you are ready. Hello, I'm Stacy Green, a teaching artist with Arts for Learning, and I'm excited to come here to show you how to make a spring flower picture out of things that you might have around your household. Um, I use the aluminum foil because it reminds me of the rain which we needed for our flowers, our spring flowers, and then we're going to make our flowers out of tissue. Um, in order to do this, you just need um, a cereal box cover or if you have crackers, any like lightweight cardboard box thing that you might have around. Um, you need a glue stick or two. Um, if you don't have glue stick, then obviously um, Elmer's white glue will work, no problem. Uh, scissors are good and some aluminum foil. And if you're like me, you keep all of your um, wrappings, the tissue that comes with gifts, and you can use those to make our flowers with. If you don't have tissues around, we can always use um, colored paper from magazines or newspapers. Not too many colors in the newspaper, but you can see what you can find. All right, so let me show you how this is done. Okay, so now that we have all of our materials um, together, our foil, our scissors, our glue, our tissue paper and our substrate. Um, we're going to go ahead and do the rainy parts. So I'm going to take the aluminum foil out like so. And I'm going to measure it against my cereal box here. Okay. And then I'm going to just trim it off here save all that other aluminum foil for another day or another project. Okay, get that out of the way. All right, so when you're using the aluminum foil, you notice that it has a dull side and it has a shiny side. You like to have the shiny side up because that's kind of more the rainy side. Um, if it gets a little crumply, it actually looks a little more rainy. So I'm gonna crumple it up a little bit give it a little more texture, like so. Okay. And then it gives me more, more facets to make that rainy look for it. And then I'm gonna take my glue and I'm just going to cover, it's most important to get the edges. The edges are the really important part to get. Okay, so I'm just going to coat that just on the edges and then maybe do a little crisscross in the middle. And then I'm going to put my shiny side of my aluminum foil over the top, like so. And I'm just going to smooth it out. You see how you got all those fun faceted to make it look more rainy. I'm just going to rub that really good. Make sure it gets all in there. Nice and tight. Awesome. Okay. And then I'm going to flip it over. And we'll put some glue on this side, just so we can glue down those extra edges and give it a good wrapping like so okay, and I'm just going to fold this over I like to fold over the ends first like this and if you have a little piece like that we don't really need to worry about it okay just going to gain these ends away and I'm actually going to add a little more glue to both of these sides so I can stick these other ends down and if you want, you can trim that, but if you know, it just stays. It's not so big of a deal. So I'm going to get those on there. All right, and then fold this side over. And so now we have our nice rainy day 
background. And I'm noticing that this side has more texture than that, so I'm gonna flip it over because I want this to be on the bottom. I like the texture at the top. Okay, so now we're gonna make some grass. So I have some green paper here. And again, if you don't have green tissue paper, you can make it with a different color grass or no grass, or you can um, find something out of a magazine or a newspaper to um, act as the grass. And I'm actually gonna rip this one. I'm gonna rip it because you notice that it gives it more texture. And grass is not smooth, so you have this smooth side. We want this rough, textury side, so it looks more like grass. That should probably be enough. So I'm gonna measure it. Yeah, see it's a little bit, and now I've got a little hilly to it too, which I think is nice. And so I'm gonna do kind of similar to what I did with the um, back, the back, I might wrap some of this a grass around the edges or I can just go right through here and just trim off that extra and now I have my hilly grass instead of a flat grass like so okay so now I'm gonna put the glue it's kind of hard to put glue on the tissue paper it just doesn't seem to work very well for it so I'm just gonna put some glue onto the background here it tends to tear the tissue and then I'm going to line it up with the bottom like so. And again, if it has a little more rough, rough texture, that's just fine. I did a little bit less than I know I needed just because I want to get this down and then I can go underneath and kind of get those edges. Okay, a little bit. All right. Okay, so now we have some grass. All right, we're starting to feel like spring now. Okay, so I'm gonna make some stems. And I wanna make stems of different lengths because flowers don't all grow in a row like soldiers. They, are, they, go, they get taller and shorter. And I'm gonna actually wrap this little bit around here too. You might run into that and it's just easier just to glue it around the back. Okay. So to make those stems, I'm going to do the same thing. I want to tear it, um, or you can cut it. It doesn't matter. Actually, I'm going to cut. See how I tore this little piece off? That's going to make a nice leaf. So I'm going to save that, and I'm going to cut the edge of the tissue paper. Just cutting right along the edge. And we, you know, our, these are these are recycled tissue paper, so they're going to be a little bit wrinkly, which is just great for what we're doing. So I'm just going to cut a bunch of stems. I mean, you notice that right now I'm cutting them all the same length. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to change their length later. Okay, so I'm going to decide. So this time I am going to put the glue on the tissue paper because we need to roll it to make our stem. You want to give it some dimension. So I'm going to put a little, just be very careful when you're doing that. See, like I said, it tears, but that's okay. Now I have a shorter stem. All right, so now I'm going to fold it inside itself like this to make a thin stem. You can also give it a little bit of a twist if you want to, that it gives it a little thinner stem. You want it to be super skinny. It's up to you, it's your stem. And different flowers have different kinds of stems, so maybe you want some that are a little skinny and some that are a little wider. It's up to you. Okay, so I have a skinny stem here and I'm thinking I like it about that tall. So I'm just gonna trim this little bottom off I'm not going to worry about this top part because that's where the flower is going to go. So I'm going to line that up. So the one that actually fell, that ripped off, that'll be a shorter stem. It all works out. Okay. And this one, I'm just going to fold like so. Okay. I have a nice short stem here now. And I like to make them a little bit different. See, that one's up on the hill, so it makes it about the same height. So I'm going to bring it down here. See, I can adjust my stems to different parts. Okay, so let's get a little bit and be gentle. And again, if it rips, it rips. But that's why I didn't want to do that with my grass, because I didn't want my grass to rip. I don't care if my stems do. Okay. I'm doing the same thing. I'm just going to 
kind of fold and crumple them together. I'm not being super fussy because it's nature and nature is not that precise. Oh, it can be, but I'm trying to make it look more natural. Okay, so this is a nice long one, so I'm gonna cut this one in half. Okay, and now I have one that's taller on this hillside, yay. That's good. And then I can put this one down here. So we're getting different heights. This is really important. I think actually I want one, this one to be a little bit smaller. Yes, we want those, that height variation. And of course you can make as many stems as you want to. Um, I would normally do more than four, but for interest of time, I'm just gonna stick with those. So I'm just gonna do a line of glue on the background and stick my stem on there. Get it stuck on a little bit there. Okay, I'm going to do another line where this one's going. And I want to flatten that one out a little more. Okay, sweet. And then I'm going to do another little line here. And another little line here. And I would encourage you to do more than four. And you can even overlap them. But again, for the interest of time, I'm going to go there. So see this um, this little piece that I cut off my stem here? I'm going to actually add that to this one for a leaf because it's important that they have leaves. And then this one that I ripped off earlier, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just put it on here for a leaf. And I can just kind of crumple it a little, make it a thin leaf or a thick leaf. Oh, I kind of like that shape. We're just making these flowers up. They don't have to be specific types, unless you really want to. You can be as fussy as you like, or not. Okay, so I'm going to make this one a little bit more rounded. Okay. And stick that leaf on there. So see, I'm just kind of molding the tissue paper to the shape that I want it to be. So I'm just gonna tear off another little piece here. And I'm just gonna mold it back into that leaf shape that I want. And again, you guys can make a lot more leaves than I'm making, but you don't wanna sit here and watch me make leaves all day. You wanna be making your own. Okay, so let me go here. Um, let me make this one a little more pointy. So you can actually manipulate them when they're on the paper too. Okay, stick down. Okay, so now to make some flowers. And you can make all kinds of different flowers. You can make flowers with centers and petals, and you can make some, some that are more rosy shaped. Um, so if I'm gonna make one with the center, maybe I'm gonna have a red center on this flower. So I'm gonna cut a circle-ish shape. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. And we want it, to, again, to be crumply and take up that texture. So I'm just going to crumple it into a smaller circle, like so. Okay, I'm going to make it too small. Let me make it a little bigger than that. Okay, so you see I crumpled it into a circle. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue down and stick it on there. Okay, so I have my flower center. And I think I want this flower to have white petals. So I'm gonna get some white here. Okay. This is a really good, good fun way to use up your um, wrapping tissues. And I'm just gonna cut, see I want, this one's gonna have five petals, so I'm gonna cut out just five rectangles. And I'm just kind of cutting them out loosely. If you really look at a flower, every petal is so unique. There is symmetry to them, but they're not all facing the same direction. Some of them are curled a little bit different. So it's okay. They're not exactly alike. Okay. So now I'm gonna take my rectangle and I'm going to fold it. And this petal, we want it, we want these petals, these are going to be, okay, so see I'm folding and folding and folding. And then I'm gonna kind of roll it into that ovaly shape. Kind of mold it around my finger a little bit, like so. So I'm gonna be building this flower up. 
Oh, and I kind of like that it has a little thing sticking out, so I'm gonna keep that. Gives it a little more character. Okay, and so you notice I didn't put any glue on the petal, the paper before I was gluing it, so I'm gonna glue that seam side down so that way it'll stay together. Okay, and we're gonna just fold this one more time. Fold. And then I'm going to kind of roll it. I remember, I'm just making up flowers. This is my imaginary garden. Okay. Get that guy hold and see if they're about this. Oh, they're about the same length. Okay, I want it a little more square. I like it a little more rectangular than that. So I'm going to put a little glue here. Just remember sticking it seam side down. Same thing with this one. Okay. Oh, I need to fold it here. Just kind of keep rolling it a little bit. Okay. Just check to see if they're the same length. Yeah, that one's a little long, so I'm going to fold you a little bit here. I just have that little die sticking out. Okay. And I'm measuring my length again. Yep. Okay. I'm going to go here. All right. Make sure that, oh, let me get some little blue under there so I can get that little peaky thing under. Okay. So I'm just kind of playing around with it. I think the next one's going to go over the stem because the flower does grow around the stem. <sighs> Out of the middle. So everything comes from the middle. Okay, a little glue right on top of the stem. So that's why I'm going to stick this down here, like this. And I'm going to scooch this one so you can manipulate them a little bit as you go. Okay, so here's one with petals sticking out. And I could get really fancy and put another color of petals behind it. I might just do that. Okay, so we're going to do this. Because you know how sometimes flowers have multiple colors? You can go ahead and make some more of these and we could stick them around here. But for today, we're just gonna leave it like that. Okay, so now if you wanna do something more like a little marigoldy kind of flower. Um, so it's just a bunch. I'm gonna take um, another piece and I'm gonna cut kind of a circle shape again out of it. And you want these to be bigger than you think they should be. And then I'm going to take it in the middle. And I'm just going to kind of crumple it up like so. Okay. And put a little glue on the top. Okay. And I think I want it to be bigger than that. So I'm just going to cut and keep adding to it until I get it to just the right size. So I'm just going to cut another little circle out of here. And again, it doesn't have to be a perfect circle. It should be a little bigger than you think. Take it in the middle, crumple. And I'm just gonna keep adding those until I get my flower to be the size I want it to be. I might need some more. Okay. And then again, another circle. So you can just keep adding to those. So that's another type of flower you can make. Again, I'm grabbing it in the middle, crumpling it, and then filling it. See how I get that little texture of those little tiny, bunch of tiny petals that way? There are so many ways to make flowers out of tissue paper. I'm sure some of you even have better ideas. But this is just a basic one. Okay. All right, and stick that down. Um, if you want to do something kind of rose-esque, I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna get this red paper again. And you're going to do the same, kind of a similar thing. You're gonna cut a circle, like so. And then I'm gonna hold it in the middle and just twist. Let's see if I hold it in the middle and I just twist, I just get that little kind of rosy look. Stick that down. 
And if you want to get really fancy, I could put a little more because the roses have those little, that little green around there. So I'm going to take a little green from here, and get some glue on it, and I can just wrap that little edge. We can even make some floor. Let's see, I can just kind of tuck it in, just tucking it. So now you have that. Well, that's pretty easy, right? Okay, I'm going to do one more. I'll make a white rose because I like white roses. So, so again, I'm going to cut out a square first and then turn it into a rounded shape. And again, you don't have to be absolutely perfect. Okay, I'm going to pinch it in the middle and twist. This one's going to be more of a bud because it's a little smaller. And then I'm going to glue it down. And there you have it. And again, I can give it a little skirt. I'm going to cut like a little triangle shape. I'm going to cover this up a little bit. Oops. Okay, get that stuck down. Oh, my rose came on. Just twist it again if it does that. Okay. And then I'm going to just give it its little skirt and tuck that under. Just like so. Alright, now our cereal box looks much more festive and more spring like, right? If you have some yellow tissue paper, you can obviously cut out a circle and make a sun. Or if you want to take some. Of course, it's raining, but we get sun showers sometimes. Um, or you can take some white paper and crumple it up into a cloud. So you can make some fluffy clouds. So there you go. There's your project for you. Um, have fun. Enjoy. Stay safe. And again, we're with Arts for Learning. So if you want to learn more about Arts for Learning, you can go to artsforlearningsd.org and thank you so much happy happy art making